Are we on the verge of colonizing Mars sooner than anticipated? With the recent groundbreaking revelations from SpaceX, it seems increasingly probable. In a development that has sent ripples through the space exploration community, Musk has formally introduced the latest version of Starship, a spacecraft engineered specifically to ferry humans to Mars and back. The new Starship boasts a design that is nothing short of revolutionary. Constructed with stainless steel rather than the carbon composite or aluminum typically used, the Starship provides robustness and durability, while also enabling a more effective heat shield during re-entry. Aesthetically, its sleek, futuristic form is visually striking. The backbone of the Starship's power lies in the Raptor engines, the latest and most advanced version of SpaceX's groundbreaking propulsion system. The Raptor is a full-flow staged combustion cycle engine, a design that sets it apart from most rocket engines. In this configuration, all of the propellant, a combination of liquid methane and liquid oxygen, is burned in two stages. First, each propellant is burned separately with a small amount of the other to power the engine's turbines. Then the hot gases from these pre-burners are combined and burned again in the main combustion chamber. This staged process allows for greater efficiency and performance. Compared to the previous version, the recently revealed Raptor 3 engine delivers a 5% increase in thrust. This might not seem like a big number, but in the world of rocketry, Every little bit of additional thrust matters. This boost is achieved through a combination of design tweaks and material advancements, resulting in an engine that is capable of producing up to 230 tons of thrust. Yet the Raptor 3 isn't just about raw power. It's also designed for enhanced fuel efficiency. The engine uses methane as fuel, a decision driven by several key factors. Methane can be produced on Mars, facilitating potential refueling operations for return trips to Earth. Moreover, methane leads to cleaner combustion, which is crucial for an engine that's designed to be reusable. This choice of fuel, combined with the engine's advanced design, helps to maximize the engine's specific impulse, a measure of its fuel efficiency. To support the launch of the massive new Starship, SpaceX has revamped its launch pads too. One of the most critical elements of these upgrades has been the introduction of heavy-duty steel plates on the launch pad. Made from a high-grade steel alloy, these plates have been specially designed and fabricated to bear the immense stress and heat generated by the powerful Raptor engines during liftoff. Each steel plate has been precision engineered to withstand the sheer force exerted during launch. The arrangement of these plates, designed in an interlocking pattern, also plays a vital role. This pattern ensures that the force is distributed evenly across the surface, preventing any localized pressure points that could lead to structural failure. Furthermore, the interlocking design also provides an additional level of redundancy, ensuring that even if one plate fails, the surrounding plates can compensate and maintain overall structural integrity. The upgrades extend beyond the launch pad surface itself. The infrastructure surrounding the pad has also been reinforced to handle the concussive forces of a Starship launch. This includes fortified fuel lines, enhanced safety barriers, and reinforced support structures, all crucial in enabling rapid launch turnaround times. The new Starship is expected to have an extraordinary payload capacity. Previous iterations of the Starship were already leading the pack in terms of payload capacity. SpaceX's workhorse, the Falcon 9, can carry about 22.8 tons to low Earth orbit, while the larger Falcon Heavy can hoist approximately 63.8 tons. Even NASA's mighty Saturn V, which launched the Apollo moon missions, had a maximum payload capacity of around 140 tons. However, the new Starship goes well beyond these figures. With its more than 100 tons payload capacity to orbit, this makes possible the kind of large-scale, ambitious missions that were previously unfeasible. Of course, this is not as easy as it sounds. There are a multitude of challenges that SpaceX will need to navigate on its journey to make the new Starship a reality. One of the key challenges is the mastering of the Raptor 3 engine itself. As previously discussed, the Raptor 3 is a marvel of engineering, but its high performance and fuel efficiency come at the price of immense complexity. SpaceX must ensure the engine's reliability under a wide variety of operating conditions, an especially daunting task given the large number of engines required for each Starship. SpaceX will also have to perfect Starship's vertical landing capability. 
This is crucial for the reusability of the spacecraft, a factor that is key to making Mars missions economically viable. However, landing a rocket of Starship's size and mass is an unprecedented challenge. It requires precision control and the ability to withstand the high stresses involved in landing. There's the issue of refueling in space, something SpaceX will need to master in order to carry out long-duration missions to Mars. The plan is to send tanker starships to refill the spacecraft's tanks in orbit around Earth. This operation will require careful coordination and precise docking maneuvers in the challenging conditions of space. Another hurdle is the heat shield that protects the starship during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. SpaceX is designing a new type of heat shield for Starship, one composed of many individual hexagonal tiles. Each of these tiles needs to withstand extreme temperatures and then cool quickly, all while being lightweight and durable enough to survive multiple missions. SpaceX envisions missions where the Starship could transport not only astronauts but vast quantities of supplies, equipment, and infrastructure needed to establish and sustain human colonies on Mars. For instance, each starship could carry modules for building habitats, scientific equipment for research, and even vehicles for surface exploration. Moreover, the payload isn't confined to just Mars missions. The starship could also serve as a vehicle for sending large scientific instruments or telescopes to space, thereby contributing significantly to our understanding of the cosmos. Or it could be used to launch numerous smaller satellites at once, a boon for the burgeoning satellite internet industry. The path to a successful Starship launch is not without its challenges. With the new Raptor 3 engines, re-entry heat shield, and precision landing, there's a range of complex technologies that must be perfected. Yet, SpaceX's track record of overcoming obstacles to achieve seemingly impossible feats gives reason for optimism. With the official reveal of the new Starship, the future feels closer than ever before. The next few years promise a series of breakthroughs as SpaceX pushes the boundaries of what is possible. From the first uncrewed test flights to the eventual manned missions to Mars, the journey of Starship is one that we'll be watching with bated breath. If you enjoyed this content and want to stay updated with the latest news, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.